What's up everybody and welcome back to another Questcraft video. Today I'm going to be going over how to install mods in the headset, everything with instances, how to install shaders with source packs, all that good stuff directly from within the headset. I'm doing this on version 5.1.0 RC6. First off, instances. So you see here we have our versions, we can select our versions. All right, and then to install an instance or create an instance, we just go to the instances folder right here, hit plus, and then name it whatever you'd like. Right here, you can select all your versions. Default mods, I suggest doing that because that has all the performance mods in it. And you need to do create instance. So once you do that, now it is being created. Press continue. So see, you have your instance down here. So if you want to delete an instance, if it's taking up too much storage, or you want to start from scratch, all you have to do, go to the instances folder, hit your instance, and hit delete instance. Alright, and installing mods is pretty straightforward with the mod manager. To select your instance, hit your version, scroll all the way down, hit your instance, and your name should be right down here. Hit mods, make sure this is the same thing as your instance, so you don't download it on the wrong instance. So, first I'm just going to install Iris Shaders here. That is now supported on all Quest devices. Mod menu, because mod menu is cool. And one other mod that you need to get if you want to install resource packs or shaders onto your headset is the mod called Resourceify. So we're just going to type that in. Right, it's spelled like that. Hit search. And look at the mod with the cardboard box as this icon. Go do, hit install. It's install now. All right. So that's basically just the gist of things instances. I know I brushed over it just a little bit, but it really is just that simple. If you do have any questions regarding that, just leave it down in the comment down below, and I'll try my best to get back to you. All right, everybody, we are in Questcraft. So first thing you need to do to install a resource pack. You go to options, resource packs, and then you will see this plus sign right here. All you need to do is hit that. To scroll on this list, just hit your grip button on your controller and move your hand up and down. Hit your grip again to let go. So I'm going to download fresh animations. Install. Just so you are going to install fresh animations, make sure you have entity texture features and entity model features installed as mods. You won't need to do that before you install this. So that's all you need to do. It will show up right here. We'll enable that. Alright, to install shaders, same thing. Go to options. But instead of resource packs, hit video settings. Go up here to shader packs. And I have some installed already, but you just need to hit plus. And then you can install any of these shaders you would like. I recommend st sticking with potato because most of these, they're very sporadic with not working. So as of right now, miniature, mellow, and complimentary imagine work. I have tried them myself, but we'll just install makeup as an example of how to install it. So once you do that, you can see all this stuff right here. And I'll catch you when I'm in a world and I'll show you what it looks like with shaders installed. <laughs> Alright, as you can see, we do indeed have shaders installed. You can see your own shadow is very, very pixelated. It's miniature. We can see we have shadows everywhere. We have our villagers with their shadow. No fancy clouds in miniature shaders. Mellow shaders have fancy clouds. But I will show you what the water looks like. If I remember correctly, it should be down here. Alright. So as you can see here, we have reflections in the water. So they don't disappear. So it's reflecting the trees. Um, my hands. And the water is very, very cool. So that's all I needed to show you guys today. 
that's how you install shader packs on Questcraft on version 5.1 of Questcraft. Like I said in future versions, this should stay the same. If it updates this is really, really different, then I will make a new video. But until that happens, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Hope you found it useful. And if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you like my other videos with Questcraft, just consider hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you till next time. See ya.